Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Today I want to talk about some key features to look for in a tow vehicle. When your business requires towing heavy trailers on a regular basis, you look for a truck like my Ram 2500 with the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine. But if you only tow your trailer a couple weeks out of the year, you want a tow vehicle that's a good daily driver too. Regardless of what you tow or how often you tow, here are some features to look for when you go shopping for a new tow vehicle. A vehicle is only as good as its weakest link. The tires, brakes, suspension, hitch receiver, and running gear all factor into what the tow vehicle's capabilities are. Tow vehicle capacity. It's important to understand what a vehicle's towing capacity is. Your vehicle's published towing capacity is the maximum amount of weight it can safely tow, and it can change based on how much the vehicle weighs when it is fully loaded. Tow ratings can vary drastically due to the vehicle's configuration. The vehicle's configuration includes the type of cab, the bed length, tire and wheel size, the engine, the transmission, if it's two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, the rear axle ratio, the hitch receiver, and if it's equipped with a towing package. A towing package includes items like an engine cooler, transmission cooler, larger engine cooling capacity, integrated trailer brake control, and a rear axle ratio intended for towing. RV 101 tip. The tow ratings for two identically equipped trucks, except for the rear axle ratio, can vary by thousands of pounds. So, you can see the importance of verifying a vehicle's towing capacity before purchasing the vehicle. There are reliable towing guides on the internet that provide correct towing information if you know exactly how the vehicle is equipped and configured. Features to look for in a tow vehicle. For starters, I prefer a ladder frame or body on frame construction over unibody or unit body construction. Ladder frame construction means the vehicle chassis has two long frame rails with several steel cross members forming the shape of a ladder. The frame is separate from the body. Unibody construction uses a rigid structure that bears all the weight of the body. It is permanently attached to the body and there are no frame rails. Ladder frame construction can handle twisting, stress, and weight distribution better than a unibody constructed vehicle. Other features to look for in a tow vehicle. Integrated trailer brake control. Electronic trailer stability control. Built-in trailer backup assist. Tow haul mode. Auxiliary brake like this exhaust brake. Fifth wheel hitch ready. A towing package that includes a four-way and seven-way plug connection towing mirrors, a heavy-duty hitch receiver, engine oil and transmission coolers, a heavy-duty engine cooling system, a heavy-duty charging system, and a good towing rear axle. You also need to consider the wheelbase of the vehicle, which is the distance from the center of the front axle to the center of the rear axle. Generally, a longer wheelbase tow vehicle tows better than a short wheelbase tow vehicle. A rear wheel drive vehicle tows weight better than a front wheel drive vehicle. When you tow heavy weights, you want the engine's power and torque to go to the axle that is supporting most of the weight. The engine plays a vital role in towing. Engine horsepower is important, but torque or pulling power is extremely important. Therefore, if you are towing heavy loads, a diesel engine might be a better choice. However, there are good gasoline engines for towing too. For brute strength, a manual transmission does a great job, but for ease of driving, an automatic transmission is a better choice. New transmissions use more gears to improve fuel economy, but for towing heavy loads, it can be problematic, going in and out of overdrive. So, a tow haul mode is typically used to prevent the constant shifting. Axle Ratio The rear axle is important as it pertains to towing. The ring and pinion gears used in an axle determine if the vehicle is better for fuel economy or better for towing. If you purchase a truck to use as a daily driver, you want to maximize fuel economy. On the other hand, if you purchase a truck to tow a trailer or haul heavy loads on a regular basis, you want a good towing axle. On rear wheel drive vehicles, power is delivered from the transmission to the rear wheels by way of the drive shaft. So, the axle ratio is basically a comparison of how many times the drive shaft rotates in relationship to how many times the rear wheels rotate. 
The higher the ratio is numerically, the better the axle is for towing. The lower the ratio is numerically, the better the axle is for economy. For maximum power and towing capability, you want an axle ratio that is higher in the number of drive shaft rotations for every tire rotation. Hitch components. Do not overlook the importance of using the proper hitch and sway components for the trailer's weight and the tongue or pin weight of the trailer you are towing. Keep in mind you can have all the proper hitch components, but if it's not set up properly, it will not be as effective. I recommend having a professional install and adjust the hitch components, then all you need to do is hitch the trailer to the tow vehicle and go. Well there you have it. As you can see, there's a lot to consider when you search for a tow vehicle to handle the amount of weight you plan to tow safely and properly. I always advise people to consider finding the trailer or the fifth wheel trailer they want first and then search for the ideal tow vehicle. To learn more about towing your travel trailer or fifth wheel trailer, visit rbonlinetraining.com. Happy camping.